What's up, everybody? Adam Smasher from Cyberpunk Edge Runners, requested by Emmanuel on Patreon. So, not easy to find images of this guy in the anime. There's loads of like computer graphic sort of ones, but it's kind of hard to find a good one of him. But I think I did. That's the good news. Landscape page, pencil, eraser. Hit pause if I go to fast. So, center point to my page is about here. His eyes will be along that halfway line, right? Start with his eye. So we'll go diagonal. And then across. <clears throat> Real angled eyes, right? So it goes down. This way. And then straight down here. And then it seems to go in, steps up, across, and then up into there. So tricky enough to draw that shape. And then we have a circle inside, right? So we've got like another glowing red robotic eye, right? It has a little slit that sticks out the corner. It's all glowing red inside there. So we'll do this over the other side. Try and copy this shape again. So the width of it is about the distance you want to go over. Standard human proportion, even though he's a cyborg. So we go up again. You're just copying this like a mirror image, right? So it's like this, but the turn the other way. As best you can anyway. Cross. And then it goes down, and then a small line, then in, and it kind of steps up a bit into the tear duct, and then up there. It doesn't have to be the exact same, obviously. And then red glowing eye with this little sort of arrow, or like a slit pointing down. There. So this is the black area of his eye, right? So he has these eyebrows, right, that come out from the middle. So there's like a line in the middle at the top here. And then we go down around these eyebrows, right? So it comes up like that, touches the edge of that eye and then comes across the top, down, and up here. Okay, and you'll do the same on the other side. Going in this way. And then it comes across, down, around. So his nose then comes out from here, okay? So like the bridge of his nose, kind of down this way. Like so. And then another little sort of frowning lines and stuff just in there. And then we have like his nostrils just below these lines, just underneath them. And then square sort of nostrils around. Like that, and then you join them together along the bottom, and then like the bridge of his nose or the tip of his nose, just drawn in like that. And then another line here and here. So we have this white part of his face and the black part of his face. So then the white sort of comes out from the eye here, steps down, out there, curves in, down, that way, cross, down in the middle, cross there, and it's the same, again, mirror image, so you do this shape over here as well. Well, you try your best anyway. Diagonal up, in, 
to there and then just into the nose. So we go that way. So in this shape comes out from the corner of his eye there. Follows this like there's lines coming down from his eyes. Like so. Here as well. And then this goes around for his head, so it goes back that way. Then around here. Step up. And then this steps in. And then it goes around these like black pods, which I would I would say or maybe we would call ears, but it comes around here. Down. So it goes into his face again, sort of in here somewhere. There would be, they would be where his ears would be, you know, if he had ears. They look like maybe they might have a bit of a 3D sort of edge line there to them. So, top of his head, so we go, he's got side of his head, so we go curving up here. And then he has these black plate things that come in, sitting on top of his head. Okay, and then the top of his head is just here, curving around. And he seems to have, this, have a line that goes the whole way down here, both sides of his head, right? This here as well. That looks like it's just black inside. We'll stay going. Okay, and then he's got a line that comes down from these all the way to his eye, kind of changing direction, zigzag, kind of. Well, a lot of the cyberpunk edge runner characters have these little lines that sort of split their face a bit. And there's a line on his temple at the side of his head. Little diagonal lines here. Some of them are bigger than others, so. I think this one's kind of like black ones, like this. Okay. Okay, so then the black part of his face, it's kind of hard to see it in the anime but it's just a series of like pipes and plates where's my picture gone there okay so let's try this now all right we'll go we'll go from here first down cross diagonal Oh, 
ones up to there and these have like series of like edge lines and things just to make them look a little bit three-dimensional and then pipes right so pipe here pipe here and like in between them there'll be like just dark black shadow as well and then we have a large chin plate here that's what it looks like in it And this will have a bit of an edge line just on the top of it. And then another line there. And then we add some more pipes just coming down in behind. And it will like be all just dark black shadow in between them. There's like a jawbone sort of thing here. And then another one there and then another pipe going in behind and all in there be like colored black and the pipe there jawbone kind of a thing and then some more little ones up the side of the head there Okay, so his neck, hmm. he's got some red pipes and black pipes for his neck, I'll tell you, we'll go, what we do, we'll do his collar and then fill in the space, right, so his collar, so it comes out this way, down, to here, right? And then you've got the start of his chest here. So the inside of this, got this sort of V section going this way and then there's these little clips that sort of stick up like that right and there's like three I think on each side. Right, and then This goes around the back of his neck. And then we do that over this side. Right, so now we have to fill in this space with more neck work and piping and all this kind of stuff. So say like we've got, I think like another line just on the side of the jaw here first. Right, 
and then his neck comes down the side. And this has all lines on it. They could be pipes as well. Okay. And then we seem to have another sort of pipe situation here. Down that way. Some more there. It just seems to be all black in between these. You know, you can't really, it's just like dark shadow. Okay. So like black all in there and stuff. Okay, so then this big collar. There and then we have like shapes on it, like that. And then another big pad here. goes down that way and then there's another rectangular shape in there and another one here so okay both did I miss anything no that's it Adam Smasher from Edge Runners. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.